Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel for a monthly favorites video, my first monthly favorites video of the new year. Yes, I'm aware that it's the end of February, but I didn't do one in January and I almost didn't do one this month, but I've managed to come up with enough stuff that I have been loving since 2017 started, albeit it's not much, but it's stuff that I wanted to tell you about nonetheless. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First is a little something I already have in my hands. It's a puppy! It's a puppy. Now I can't imagine that if you are seeing this video on your newsfeed that you're not a subscriber and you don't already know who this is, but if you are new and you happen to not know who this is, this is my puppy, Gracie. And she is a Yorkie. Yes, you are, aren't you? And she's terrified of being in front of the light. Oh, Yorkie. Um, she's a Yorkie. She is 17 weeks old now, I think. She was born on November 2nd during the Cubs World Series winning game, which was awesome. So she's a good Chicagoland baby. And my husband and I brought her home on January 1st of this year. So we have had her every day of 2017. And while she's a little, yes, I have, haven't we? Yes, yes, I have. Um, and while she's a little rascal, she really is. She's such a brat sometimes. She's really, really sweet. She's a very, very good dog. We just started puppy training classes. She's a very, very smart dog. Um, and yeah, so she's, this is me formally proclaiming that this little rat is one of my favorite things. Yes, yeah. aren't you? Yes, you are, you're a good girl. All right, you can go. She is so thrilled that I put her down so she can run. Oh, and she's back. What a little monster, I tell you what. I have a whopping one beauty item this month, which is why there's not two separate videos. I know you guys, when I asked you during vlogging, um, if you wanted to see one cohesive favorites video or separate beauty and lifestyle favorites, a lot of you said that you wanted them separated, which is all well and good for when I actually have enough beauty products to warrant a whole separate video, but I don't. I have a whopping one thing, and it is this. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Eyeliner. And waterproof liquid eyeliner. Yes, and I'm currently holding a sample, deluxe sample size of the Mad Max Brown. I also have it in black. I'm not favoriting a color in particular. I am just favoriting the product. So I'm really bad at liquid eyeliner. I don't know how to do the wing. I don't know how to do anything like that. But I have found that with the, especially the tiny Kat Von D eyeliner, I can actually get in there close enough where I have a thicker, nice solid gel looking line, even the liquid line, you know what I mean? Um, not pencil line. And it looks good. It looks <laughs> decent. It looks fat and awesome and bold. So I just favorite this because I, it's simply a product that I can use because I'm not good at liquid eyeliner. So this is actually a great one. I'm wondering though, it, it, it is a genuine concern of mine. Um, if I get like the full size one, which is a lot bigger, I wonder if it's because this is so compact that it works so well. So I don't know if I'm favoriting the size or the product. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's my beauty favorite of the month. My next monthly favorite is not going to fit into the lens, but I'm going to try. And it's this. Da -da -da -da. This is the Dyson V6 Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. And this sucker... This is my baby. I got this, not for Christmas, but I got like anniversary money and whatnot, and we decided to get me this because it is so much less hassle than me having to haul out. We also have a regular big old Dyson vacuum cleaner, and it's great, it works magnificently, but it's such a hassle for me to use that I don't vacuum nearly as often as I would like to be vacuuming. This, you pop off the charger, you carry it around, it's only like five pounds, and you just fire it up by pulling the trigger and you can go. It has detachable attachments so you can actually detach this entire pole and just use this part for like cleaning out your car and doing things like that. It's just, I could go on and on about this thing, but this is the V6. I know there's a V8 option and I think there's a lower option as well. This, I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I bought this on Amazon for like maybe three, it's either $2.89 or $3.89. I can't remember what the price was. Um, but oh my gosh, do I love this thing. I vacuum all the time now, especially with Gracie running around and wanting to eat every dust speck and crumb off the floor. I vacuum at least three times a week. And I can do that simply with this beautiful baby right here. Mwah. 
How about a few Weight Watchers friendly food favorites? My first one is actually not something I have here that's tangible because I used all of mine up. And that is the Quest Nutrition Protein Powder, but specifically in this new Cinnamon Crunch flavor. It is so freaking delicious. And if you guys have been watching my vlogs, you know that all this past month I have been making protein waffles by a recipe that I found on Instagram from a Weight Watchers Instagrammer called Mud Hustler Official. And I actually did a whole walkthrough video of how to make these waffles of mine. Three smart points, by the way, I mean, and technically they're his waffles, don't get me wrong, but I'll post that link right up there. The whole recipe and the whole process of doing it is in that video. But I found, I tested out a bunch of different Quest powders with this recipe, and the Cinnamon Crunch one was to die for delicious. It was just my favorite one. I was very sad when I ran out of my packets of it, and once I run out of my current tub of chocolate Quest protein powder, I'm going to be ordering the tub of the crunch, um, the cinnamon crunch one because it was so good. Like not only is it a good, it, it's not just cinnamon, it's like cinnamon sugar. Like think of cinnamon toast crunch cereal and put that into a healthy Weight Watchers friendly high protein powder form and that's what this product is. And it actually even has little pieces of like crunchy cinnamon sugary protein cereal in there. <gasps> it is so good! So that is definitely one of my favorites. And the other favorite I have this month for food is... Ba -ba -da -da. Most of you Weight Watchers people know what this is. This is Halo Top. And I finally was able to get my hands on some of the new Halo Top flavors. And while I really enjoyed every single one of them that I have tried, this one was hands down my favorite, and this is the Salted Caramel, and it's my favorite for a couple of reasons. One, it's just really well done. It tastes like, I, I don't feel like I'm cheating myself by eating diet ice cream when I eat this, which is incredible. It is three points for one serving. It is only five points for two servings, so I can get an entire cup of this for five points. And the way ice cream is with the new Smart Points plan, it's a lot more difficult to do that. So I, oh... Oh, Halo Top. I have gone back to Whole Foods several times, and my husband's like, why are you, why do you keep going to Whole Foods? I'm like, it's the only place I could get a Halo Top. I'm sorry. And I come home with at least four pints every time I go. It's ridiculous. But it's so good, and it's so Weight Watchers friendly. And the only other Weight Watchers friendly ice cream option that actually tastes good is the Enlightened Ice Cream, which I just got my hands on. So I can't favorite it because I don't know if I'm favoriting it yet. Um, but I'm working on trying it for the month of March. But those are the only two options, and you can't get Enlightened anywhere around here. But you can get Halo Top. But this this flavor is so good. If Salted Caramel is not your thing, I highly recommend the S'mores flavor. And what's the other one? Oh, the oatmeal one. The oatmeal cookie one is also very, very tasty. And Red Velvet is also very good. So Halo Top, specifically Salted Caramel, so good. I really want it, like, oh, right now. And it's been sitting out for a couple of minutes, so, like, it's ready to eat right now. Must resist. Must eat dinner first. We are moving right along to some media favorites that I have for you this month, and that's it. Then I am done. Two are audiobooks. The first one is A Little Bit Wicked by Kristen Chenoweth, and the audiobook is narrated by Kristen Chenoweth, which is part of what makes it so awesome. And in the same way, I'll roll right into the second one. The second audiobook that I was loving was Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham, aka Lorelai Gilmore. Um, both of these ladies narrate their own books, and it is an autobiographical book, so it's just... <sighs> there's something really, really cool to me about someone narrating their own autobiography. And it just adds, like... It, it, it's so much more personal, don't you think? Like, you could read it, or you could have someone else read it to you, but when you put, like, Kristen Chenoweth's laugh, like, when she's reading sentences she wrote and she chuckles, you know it's genuine. It's not scripted. Like, she, uh, and the same with Lauren Graham. Like, she's talking about life experiences from her perspective coming out of her mouth, and it's just so much more personal, and it's so enjoyable, and both of them are very talented ladies who I admire very, very much. And both of these audiobooks are available on the Scribed app, which you also hear me talking about all the time because that's where I get all of my audiobooks from. Um, it is a monthly subscription. It's kind of like Audible, but not quite like Audible. For $8.99 a month, you get to purchase three regular books 
and one audiobook, and your credits can roll up over up to nine. You can accumulate up to nine regular books and three audiobooks before you just start losing credits. So I never let that happen, especially in the audiobook area. So I'll, I'll leave a link down below for Scribe if you're interested. I do get like some referral credit of some kind, but I think you also get something out of it. So if you click that link, both of us can benefit out of you signing up. And I don't know if it's you having to sign up for a paid plan or if you just have to try it. I don't know, but it's awesome. I love it. And both of those books were on there, which is how I listened to them. And mm, oh, and I have got some other books coming that I'm not quite finished with yet, but you will be hearing about them next month's favorites, I promise. And the last thing on my favorites list is a musical because I am a Broadway baby. I finally got to listen to the Dear Evan Hansen soundtrack and it is magnificent. It is glorious. It is it is everything I wanted it to be and so much more. I accidentally stumbled upon Dear Evan Hansen when my Pandora station started playing Waving Through a Window that was sung by Ben, ben Platt. And I was like, what is this? Who is this? Oh my gosh, this is incredible. And so I researched it only to find out that that single was the only thing released. So this past month, the whole soundtrack was released and every song is absolutely fantastic. The talent on that soundtrack is incredible. And fun fact, the voice that I fell in love with, Ben Platt, he is the nerdy guy in Pitch Perfect, the one that tries to get with Anna Kendrick. I had no idea the dude could sing the way he does. Oh my gosh, it was the best discovery ever. I was like, dude, Pitch Perfect did you no justice because I feel like I would have remembered a voice like that. Oh my gosh, he's so talented. So the Dear Evan Hansen soundtrack, it is available on Spotify. It's probably available on Apple Music. Go listen to it. It's so, so very good. And that is it for my February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't be afraid to give it a little thumbs up because that really helps me out. And click that little subscribe button down there so you're notified every time I upload something new. And I promise you, I'm going to be uploading a lot. I've got some big ideas and you guys have been giving me ideas and I'm so excited to get started on some of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and have a very, very happy March. Mwah. Bye!